There's been announcement that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and Iran will establish their official embassies will be open in the next two months. We have moved from track two that originally started some years ago in 2013, and then it stopped uh, when 2016 the Saudi embassy has been burned in Tehran and also the consulate in Mashhad. And then we were back again to track uh, two, one and a half, and one. 1.5 or, one or two, normally uh, you express your personal feeling or your personal uh, views and not necessarily the government you represent or the department you represent. And it's much more open in terms of discussion and less commitment. There's no commitment in it. It cannot be counted as a commitment. But it's, uh, it's the first step. So this has led, uh, once there has been enough confidence between both sides, now there must have been some agreement on the issues that related to the safety and the security of the staff and the people in the embassy. And so we had enough guarantees that this will be well protected. And I think China is a country that have played a certain role in bringing confidence between the two and bridging some of the issues. Uh, since China is the largest uh, trading partner with both, with Iran and with Saudi Arabia. They are the buyer of 20% of Saudi oil export and so That have helped to bring a country like China that enjoy the respect and the trust and excellent economic relation with both sides. It's a good uh, news because again, uh, you know, Iran need to be integrated to the region. We don't want Iran to be disintegrated from the region. We have no interest in seeing launching war against Iran. We are very concerned about the militarization of the nuclear program in Iran and the missiles program. So if Iran is willing to address the concern of the region that before they were not willing to address, this mean will bring a better stability in the region. The agenda is very clear. Yemen is number one, and number two is the Iraq and the situation there in it. Syria is also in the agenda. Lebanon always in the agenda. So there are plenty of issues and agenda that both sides need to sit down and talk and, and, and uh, find uh, a reasonable, uh, you know, acceptable policies between both sides.